Hello everyone, uh, Blender users. Um, today I will show you how to make uh, this uh, procedural pattern. Uh, uh, it can be presented like this, like that. And uh, this pattern I use in my product on Blender Market 16 procedural erotic fabric materials. Uh, it is um, listed on my market page on the blender market this one uh, for this tutorial you will also need this free node group from my gumroad page um, it is absolutely uh, for free uh, link in the description and also if you are new and uh, don't know procedural uh, shaders then watch my tutorial for the beginners so let's start um, this is will not be the step-by-step -step tutorial because i think uh, it takes more time and uh, creates uh, more difficult for me so I will just show you this node tree uh, and um, explain how uh, all of that works first we take texture coordinate with UV output then free math vector nodes scale fraction fraction what fraction do uh, it takes information for example from 3 to 4 and makes it from 0 to 1 and uh, that's in that is in the x and y axis then we need to move the center uh, of coordinates to the center of the square with subtract and use vector and gone which you downloaded here what this node group do let's hide those and look at vector and gone but uh, i think to better understand what this thing do i'll use the image the square image let's move image center uh, repeat to clip and now i think you understand what this thing do round and makes this value round image center move uh, the center of coordinates like this subtract node w color change the variant of color data and angle rotates the whole thing scale is uh, just scale then with uh, this this vector math node we move a little bit the center then we repeat those three nodes to make it more complicated scale fraction subtract to the center this is without subtract Then we separate node tree into two branches. First with length. What length do? Uh, it create from every um, this one, this one, this one a central points a radiant point, gradient point, and uh, that's it. Uh, the second 
branch. Uh, we take x and y data. Data. Uh, I'll better take texture coordinate and plug clear UV to this whole structure full of math nodes. X gradient looks like that, Y like that, and with arctan2, um, with subtract, you will see it more clearly. clearly. Um, so basically, arctan2 creates a radial gradient from pi to minus pi. Then with a map range, convert it to 1 to 0. Then multiply it with a rounded value. This multiply, it's like a not needed. Um, then fraction again. We need to move the black path to the center of the triangle with subtract. Then uh, we need to convert this black data to white data, negative to positive. And we can do this with pimpon. We also can do it with absolute. As you can see, this is the same result, but with pimpon. We can control it. Then um, we use RGB curves nodes. I'll better show you what RGB curves node do. You can see that um, the X gradient from 0 to 1 is a straight line, but with RGB curves We need to add a modifier subdivision surface simple adaptive and hide it. Uh, now it's it is working. <clears throat> and when we change RGB curves. Uh, you can see the result. Uh, so then, uh, you now you can understand what RGB curves do. Does uh, to length uh, this length with uh, circles? It creates uh, this type of pattern. Let's make. Vector angle to eight and uh, image center. Nope. Why this thing does not match? Oh, because we changed the angle. Uh, now it is lined up. We don't need this subtract. Um, we also use RGB curves to the second branch and then mix it together with mix node. Mm. 
we can change the factor of mixing uh, those together and then pinpoint it again with a divided value and use some map range nodes and subtract uh, one from another and uh, as you can see we have a gradient here and to make it a straight line use greater than and uh, in the end use it uh, like a mix factor with the uh, color mix node and uh, if i didn't uh, say it those two nodes those those this and this are um, the math nodes with a different uh, setting now i will show you what you can change here to make uh, different results I think this is a nice result for today uh, if you like it uh, it's very cool press like uh, but honestly I don't care about likes and uh, other stuff uh, and don't forget to download vector and gone from my gum road absolutely for free look zero uh, there uh, there is also uh, there is also a lot of free stuff here um, this thing yeah, is for free now it was like five dollars but I think uh, it should be free uh, this note is very useful if you want to support me then of course go to my uh, shader store on blender market and um, I think that's all uh, goodbye comrades uh, yes um, see you next time I guess <laughs>